Hey everyone, my name is Ray, and we are here. This is going to be week number nine of the UEL, the second to last week. And this is going to be a really, really big week because uh, we're at a really precarious position. We're at four and four, I believe. And um, we definitely need to win one of the last two, but winning two of the last two would be fantastic for us. And I think it would pretty much lock up a spot. However, uh, our final two weeks are against the top two seeds at the time of recording, right? And I don't mean like two of the top seeds. I mean, like literally one and two. Uh, and I believe we have the t uh, number two seed right now. So right off the bat, we see the Muck, Selby, Moltres, uh, Gliscor, and Piloswine. So it looks pretty soft to Azumarill. Did not bring the Alomomola or the or the Scizor, which is really interesting to me. That's really interesting to me. Uh, no Gallade, no Mega Gallade. Maybe thought that I had answers for, but I really kind of didn't um what else what else no dragology i was honestly a little bit concerned about dragology but uh we don't see the, the, the dragology here um overall a super scary team plenty of hazard options three rockers and greninja with spikes uh overall yeah overall pretty rough overall a pretty rough matchup i know uh leo six with hacks said that i had a pretty darn bad matchup but um i think it's gonna be okay i think it's gonna be okay um, I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know what I want to do here. Part of me just wants to lead off with the Azumarill. Part of me just wants to... I think I might just lead off with the Serena here. I think Serena would be an okay lead. No, I'm going to lead off with the Azumarill. I'm just going to take a chance that he's not going to lead off with the Celebi. Although, you know, realistically, Celebi's a really decent lead for him here so i guess if he does lead selby then um i would instantly just go out into the into the reggie steel however um i don't want my reggie still to get worn down like at all really if i can help it but you know that said i mean there's really not a whole lot that i could do about it uh it does lead off with this lv so that's pretty much exactly what i feared but i really did not want to lead off but see here's the thing he could just try to set up rocks I could just try to set up rocks. I would be curious as to what a banded knockoff would do against. Well, no. Okay, so here's the thing. I think Veps. I think the way the Vepsis would play this is that he knows how big of a threat banded Azumarill, or just an Azumarill in general, can be to his team, and uh, he wouldn't really want to risk this. If he sees an opportunity to to attack this thing in front of him, I think he would take it. Is my instinct to say right? So, let's see. Knockoff. Ugh, knockoff is not doing enough. I mean, especially in a world where he can just recover off the damage. It's not doing enough. So, I think I'm just going to... Man, I could also just make a super hard play into Nihi Lego as well. I didn't take a screenshot of the team. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I apologize for taking too much time in, the er in these early turns. But, I do want to think about my plays. Kind of talk out my plays to myself a little bit. And... Take it a little bit slowly. So, again, so much of his team is weak to to just abandon his numeral here. So, Registeel just makes sense to me. I think I'm going to do it. There really isn't too big of a downside to going into Nihilego either. I think, I think I'll make the more aggressive play into the Nihilego here. I think I'll make the slightly more aggressive play into the Nihilego here. Uh, Nihi Lego has a really good time here. Azumar has a really good time here. And, uh, just, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I, that's kind of what I thought he would do. And, I don't know how defensive this Selby would be to take a potential Sludge Wave, but Sludge Wave is just really strong here. I might just try to hit the power gem now. I could get up rocks right now. Um, honestly, Nihilek was not going to be the best Mon in this matchup. It has really solid matchups against some of his team, but then others just not as much. I think... I think I can probably get rocks up here. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'd be curious to know whether his Gliscor is... 
is rocks is rocks plus defog because if that's the case then he would be he'd probably build more defensively and that'd kind of limit his offensive options but earthquake acrobatics probably does most of the work he needs to to, to do in this matchup does withdraw um muck yeah that's what i thought okay so i think i think my Registeel steel should be fine in this overall matchup but i'm gonna take a look as to uh Mm. Um, what is this thing called? Spiritomb also makes a ton of sense to me here. He doesn't have that many good solid answers to Spiritomb. Yeah, no, not having certain mons really just kind of helps Spiritomb out in this matchup here. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just curious to know what he would do in this situation. Just go for the knockoff. I mean, it's not great, but it'll be relatively fine. He could predict a Will-O-Wisp right now. Nope, I misclick. I 100% just misclick. I click Toxic, and I meant to click Will-O-Wisp. That's right next to it. It's li they're literally right next to each other. And I genuinely misclicked. If he switches out, then that'd be fantastic, but that was a genuine misclick. Uh, it would only really... I mean, he wouldn't go at it into the Moltres, but... I mean, I guess maybe it helps me out if he makes a super aggressive switch. Maybe Selby has Dazzling Gleam. But... Obviously... Glyscore... I don't know, man. Be if I were to will us the Glide score, if I missed a an opportunity to will us the Glide score, I would literally, man, I'd be tempted to forfeit. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't do that. I probably wouldn't do that. But it's bad. It's bad. Goes in the pile of swine. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him. Uh, I don't know. M maybe he thinks that I just made like a monster play, but I really didn't. I genuinely did not. I do want to try and get something in here. I want to see if I can sneak something in here. Hmm. Honestly, if I expect him to just want to click rocks, then this would be a fantastic opportunity to try to set up... To try to set up... Azumarill. But no, I think Azumarill is going to have a chance later on in the match regardless of what happens. So I think I'm okay on that front. If, um, the only thing that I really kind of want to sneak in here would be the Serena, maybe? I think Serena's fine. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I'm going to click U-turn no matter what does double. Okay, that's super duper interesting to me. It goes into the Gliscor. Into the Gliscor. I don't know what he expected me to do. I don't know what he expected me to do. But now this thing's in here. And... I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Man, if I'd gotten in the Azumarill, that would have been bananas. That would have been actually bananas. Okay. Uh, what is Serena doing in this matchup? Uh, I do have a max attack adamant power whip. Almost. Like, I think I'm one point off of max attack. But, um... And I think I have to click U-turn here. But what do I U-turn into? What do I U-turn into? Um... Maybe I do just click Power Whip. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm gonna click U-Turn. We're gonna see what he does here. Part of me just really wants to get an Azumarill. 
Because Azumar has a really amazing time here. But... I think I can also just bring Spiritomb back in here. Actually, I think Spiritomb, yeah. Okay, so, so what Spiritomb is, is going to allow me here to do is kind of gauge out what he wants to do. Because let's go for the defog. That's totally fine. I actually have dual rocks. So he, so if he takes out the Nihilego, he might think that he has rock. Well, Registry also has rocks, but I guess that wouldn't be too big of a surprise. So who knows? Who knows what he might be thinking in this situation? I really... He might sing and click Toxic on me. He does. Okay. That's totally fair. That is totally fair. But now I get to see what kind of a spirit tomb this is, or what kind of a glass core this is. Uh, that looks like... I believe I calced it out, and that should be max defense, if I can remember correctly. Oh no, that's actually max special defense. But now I could genuinely click toxic on this next turn. I think I click will -Wisp, though. I feel like the the chances of him going for him going for Moltres right now are pretty slim. But also the Celebi, man. This well, no, he would never switch into the Celebi right now. Toxic makes so much sense. Toxic makes a whole lot of sense for anything that's not the Muck. I'm going to click Toxic. We're going to see what happens. Goes for the Roost. Okay. Um, I mean, that's fine, I guess. But, I mean, I almost don't care if this thing goes down. I'd rather him just attack me and let me get a Toxic off here. He might try to get in the muck, too. No, I don't think he would. He, he, he wouldn't do that. I think... Yeah, I think I can just give the Spirit Tomb in order for... Um... In order for his Glyscore to get weakened here. I should take this fine, yeah. I'll take it okay. Um, it'd be best case scenario, honestly, to get taken out by Toxic this turn. Yeah, that is super max special defense. I think that's actually calm nature, or careful, whatever, wh whichever it is. Yeah, the only way that I don't do half is if he's, uh, max special defense calm. Um, and if he clicks Roost and loses his flying, his flying, then... HP still does more than foul play, so I might as well just pop it. No, just season. Okay, that's no, 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 totally fair. So now, what does that allow me to do? EQ, defog, toxic. EQ, defog, toxic. EQ, defog, toxic. EQ, defog, toxic. I might just have to go into Azumarill here. And I think I have to make a call and click knockoff here. I think I might just have to make a call and click knockoff here. I'd be surprised I'd be surprised if he just exchanges Gliscor for Toxic here. Cause this thing is definitely max special defense. I'm going to click Knock Off. I mean, the Celebi play is a little bit obvious, but at the same time, this thing has use, I feel like. This thing has use still against my team. So I don't know how to play this. I really don't. His build is really just strange to me, I think. And I packed a lot of speed on Azumarill and on Registeel uh, in order to outspeed an Almamola. But it's not going to matter. 
Unless, actually, no, there's no way. Never mind. Do we see the Selby? No. Although, if we can knock off a berry, that'd be pretty huge. He was gonna let this thing take a take a. Oof. That was thirty percent. To a muck. To a muck. Thirty percent to a muck is max defense. That that's a low roll for for max defense too. Oh, if it's max defense, bold or impish, you know what I meant. You guys know what I meant. Max Defense Impish is, yeah, the only way he gets 30%. So I think I can... Oh, I didn't even notice what he knocked off. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Although, I can pretty freely go into Registeel right now. I can get rocks back up. I can start Seismic Tossing up. I can, get, I can probably get a sub up. Now that I know that this thing has no attack investment... Oh no, that's just, that's just max HP. I'm going to click sub. Um, wait, no, so that doesn't have to be impish. And actually, I'm going to do a quick calc on that. One, 187 down to 139. That was 48 points of damage. That was 48 points of damage against... against uh, Registeel. Yeah, that's not attack invested. But it's going to be fine, ultimately. It's going to be fine. Although, yeah, I'm slowly losing solid, like, super solid answers to... to... Glasgow right now, so I might have to get super duper aggressive, go back into... um this thing and start just trying to pound in those liquidations he probably knows that I'm banded by now if I'm being honest he probably just knows that I'm banded but no this is where I get the strongest possible liquidation that I can well no there's no reason not to click play rough right there's no reason not to click play rough well play rough misses KO on the glide score Right? That's probably right. I have to imagine that's right. Uh Yeah, it for sure misses K on the on the on the glide score. I probably just click play rough here. I'm gonna do it. I see no reason... Yeah, I see no reason for him to want to stay in. And... Yeah, I don't think I really have to care about this. Well, honestly, so, so that means that he, that last time this happened, he was sacking off his muck. Which is unfortunate, because then that caused me to give up my Registeel for nothing. And, uh... Or give up, like, 50% on my Registeel for not much. But my Zoomer is still in a pretty solid spot here. And no matter what, if the Selby comes in... Um, that's going to allow... Okay. Oh, he knows that I'm banded. That's that's the only reason he's doing this. That's fine. That's fine. Although now... Huh. Does double. Yeah, he expected my Lego to come in. That's totally fine. Yeah. 
I would be curious. Hmm. I still don't know the last move on this thing, and it sucks. But actually, now that I know that this glass score is not defense invested, that really opens the door for Serena to, to deal some damage to this thing. He has, he almost has to click. He almost has to click. Uh. Earthquake in this situation, right? Yeah. And now power, yeah, power up is decently free, except against the Moltres, obviously, but... I've been making those U-turn plays in the past, so he might not be inclined to do that. And that honestly might deter the Selby as well, but he doesn't really have a switch. And he, he doesn't know the, how, how um, offensive I am, so that might deter him. But yeah, no, I... I guess, honestly, I didn't expect this Glass War to come, really, but, um, I guess, yeah, no, he, he really probably expected my Raikou to come and wanted, a uh, strong counter plays on my Raikou, but, uh, I did not expect him to want to bring both of his, both of his ground types. Yeah, he definitely expected me to U-turn here, and I wish I could U-turn, because I'm scarfed, but, uh, I'm probably gonna pull a double right now. I'll probably pull a double right now. Because I don't think he's in any position to give this thing up. I don't think he's in any position to give this thing up. I think I just go into the Nihil Lego here. This is a huge risk. Don't get me wrong. This is a huge, huge risk. But I think it's going to ultimately be a, wor a risk worth taking. I think it's ultimately going to be a, a risk worth taking here. I'm gonna have to see. Yeah, okay. There it is. And... Now... Is there any reason not to click Sludge Wave? I mean, Glide Score. Let me see. Okay, let me just make sure... Oh, it's also a max special defense Glide Score, too. Also, a max special defense glide score, too. Yeah, Sludge Wave is right on the cusp. But does double. This is probably going to be a two hit, though. He probably doesn't know how offensive I am, but. Yeah, that's. That should be enough damage. Unless he has Protect as his last move. That would be pretty wild. That would honestly be pretty wild. Toxic Protect. Earthquake does double. Okay. I don't even think I'm too worried about this. This, this is probably a sack of anything. I hope this is a two hit, but if I... Th yeah, okay. It's not a two hit. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I can... yeah. I'm gonna resist the Earthquake and he can't click Ice Shard against me. And I can just click U-Turn here. I can just click U-Turn here. And we just have to see where that gets us, man. We're almost half an hour into this matchup. And... Not a whole lot has happened, but I feel like I'm right on the cusp. I'm right on the... Oh! You know what? All that glide score damage puts him in range of Aqua Jet at this point. I mean, Celebi is really the only real thing that's stopping my Azumarill right now, I feel like. 
There's a withdraw. And there's the U-turn. But now... Now he's lost two of his major switches in. Now he's lost two of his major switches in. I could be super duper aggressive and try to... Try to... Click Stealth Rock here. I can- I have so many options. I have Power Jump, Sludge Wave, da uh, Dazzling Game, and Stealth Rocks, and literally I can click any three of those- any three uh, between Stealth Rock, Sludge Wave, and Power Jam. And it would make sense here, I think. Ugh, Stealth Rock would be so huge right now, but I can't- that Glide Score really just stops me. I'm gonna click Power Jam. I think I have to be more aggressive. I have to keep pressure onto him right now. Gliscor is, is not a switch in anymore. Um, Selby's gonna not be a switch in over time. And if anything, Selby if Selby comes in, I just go back into Registeel and Registeel gets up rocks no matter what happens, unless he super aggressively clicks U turn. So, who knows? And if anything, if he goes into Selby, he's on. I, I feel like if you go if you go into Selby, you can U turn, but you almost have to. You almost have to stay in and click Psy Shock. You have to make that play and stay in just to click Psy Shock at that point, I feel like. But who knows? I mean, Vepsis is a very good player and who knows what uh, he would want to do in that scenario. Yeah, he does bring in the Selby. And I'm going to do a decent amount of damage, but I don't know. I, sh I mean, I feel like I take a Psychic. Also, I should be gauging damage as well. I almost just clicked my move super early, but I feel like I take a second to gauge damage here. But I came I came really close to clicking Sludge Wave. Um This thing's just max HP. Power gem is 36 to 42, which looks about right. Yeah, I don't think this thing can be like super defensive. I mean I guess it can be, but it's not likely. It's more than likely defensive. Which, if that's the case, it's probably not really specially... It's, it's probably not... Doesn't have a lot of... Um, attack investment. And... As the case usually is... I take... I take Psychic, but I don't take Psy Shock. Yeah, I don't come close to taking Psy Shock. And if he clicks U-turn, that's potentially, like, a catastrophic territory. But maybe he's trying to put, put me in a, a Water Shuriken range. Maybe that's his play. Part of me says I just skip to the game, stick to the game plan and go into Registeel, but who knows. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to see whether or not that's a good play or not, but I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of the, I'm deadly scared of the U-turn. Deathly scared of the U-turn. Does what drops. Just double. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So he was he was almost gonna let this take a power gem because two power gems. Oof. Okay. Greninja. Greninja, Greninja, Greninja against my Reggie Steel. I should take most hits he wants to go for. Unless he super aggressively tries to spike stack me right now. That would be pretty much worst case scenario. But uh, if I take away this protein. If I take away protein. I, I should take any single hit. Unless this thing's like specs? I don't know. Choice specs. Even then, HP fire is like right on the cusp. Hydro Pump would, would need a really high roll. No, I always take Hydro Pump. Okay. I think the most worth play is to always just click Stealth Rocks here. Goes for the U-turn. Goes for the U-turn. I'd be interested to see if he goes into the Moltres, but Moltres would be a very free... 
a very free uh oh he's trying to get rocks up on me as well but I think ultimately I get the way better end of this and if he does try to get rocks up then I can get up a sub and then I outspeed the following turn actually can I prevent hold on what what is pilot swine's max HP Pilot Swine's HP maxes out. Oof, Pilot Swine has a lot of HP. That is a big old boy. So Seismic Toss, if, if this thing is max HP, then Seismic Toss is, uh, is, I think I have to assume in to go for rocks, which would let me get up a sub, and then after the Toxic Damage, then Seismic Toss next turn would take him out. Goes for the rest. Oof, okay. That was unexpected. That was unexpected. But I can retoxic him. And I can get residual damage with Seismic Toss. And I guess ultimately this is okay as long as I can. Well, also I still have the Azumarill. Like this this could also set up an Azumarill play. This could also set up an Azumarill play. Does withdraw. Let's me get a seismic toss toss off on something. If the if it's the glass court, no, it's this thing. Maybe this thing's trying to get up rocks right now. Actually, if this thing gets up rocks and lets me take it out right now, I can also just click Toxic right now. He might be trying to get a... No, I have to protect against the Glyscor switch in. Let's for the recovery, yeah. Okay, Toxic would have been a better play. But now I for sure click Toxic. Now I for sure click Toxic. And it actually looks like he has 200 HP exactly. If that's the case, then uh, that would be super interesting. Mm, he, kn he knew it. He knew it. Okay. But, Sub Toxic, Recover. He only has one attacking move. He can never touch me. He can never touch me. He's trying to PP stall me, actually. I think he might be trying to PP. He might actually try to PP stall me. Which is a totally fair play. Oh, he does have 201. Yeah, no. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He has exactly 200 HP. He might be trying to make me run out of seismic tosses. But ultimately, I don't even think it matters that well no, it does matter. It actually does matter. Actually, here's the other thing, right? If if Wait, he actually only has one attack. In order for him to be able to take out Mining Heat Lego, that one attack would have to, have to, have to be Psy Shock. And it's probably Energy Ball, in honesty. If I had to guess. If I had to guess. His one attack is Earth Power. That's huge. His one attack is Earth Power. Okay, so this thing is max defense. But... Oh, he can't make a sub right now. He can't make a sub unless he... Clicks Recover, which means I can click Toxic right now. Oh, he can make a sub. Okay. 
So I think he does have 201 HP. I think just the, the, the weird math and how Pokemon works with rounding down all of his numbers, I think that just barely made it work. I know he can just Earth Power me. He can recover first, but... Okay, I think... I think I've already decided this thing is max defense. <laughs> um, if this thing is not specially defensive... Let's assume max defense. I guess I, have to, I guess I have to assume both. So, so between Nihilego and... Between Nihilego and... Uh... Serena? No matter what, whether the... If this thing is around half, even like close to half, then... Then... Yeah, okay, that's totally fine. Because... Oh, this thing could be Tanga Berry. I didn't even think about that. This thing could be Tanga Berry. This thing could be Tanga Berry. I mean, I have really no choice but to click. Well, it's. Culver is also really likely. Oof, I don't know. I really don't know. This is tough. Between Cobra, Tanga, or even, like, uh, Kebia? That's a lot of options for him, but... I think he's kind of stuck here, because he's gonna have to get U-turned, and that's gonna allow in my... My... He's gonna get U-turned, and that's gonna allow in my... Uh... What's that thing called? Azumarill. Also, another note, um... Serena Scarfed, right? But uh, it's not Scarfed enough to outspeed, uh, like, max speed Greninja. So if we're ever in that situation, then I would lose, because I'm really adamant. If I had gone Jolly, then uh, I would outspeed it, but it really didn't feel worth it. Oh, okay, actually, I'd have to check on this. Yeah, okay. So my Serena, my, my Scarf Serena, can actually outspeed a Greninja that is also speed creeping, creeping a Raikou. So if it's max speed Greninja, then I don't outspeed. If it's only creeping Raikou, I do outspeed. And, but then I have to take a water shuriken, and uh, who knows about that? But uh, that's just some fun bags for, the, for for this late game. Um, I also really need my Serena for the Pilot Swine, so that's gonna be huge. But um, ultimately, ultimately, I can handle that with. Interesting. Interesting. Because now Celebi is no longer switching. And now I can click Sludge Wave. Now I can click Sludge Wave. Well, not against the Pilot Swine. So, maybe it is time... No, it's not... It's... Hmm. It might honestly be time... For Necrozma. I think I need my Necrozma to hit the field and put some dents into his team. Because Necrozma has not been doing anything up to this point in the match. And I can get an Autotomize up right now. I can take this thing. Well, no. I think the better play is just to... I mean, the obvious better play is to go into Azumarill. But I can't let the Celebi re recover up for free. So I don't know what my better play is right now. I don't know what my better play is right now. It probably is to go into Necrozma. The only thing that my, that my Necrozma would absolutely just not beat is Greninja. But... I think I just managed that. I think I'd get off a big hit with Earth Power. And then, you know, try to deal with it. Because that might be the chip that Azumarill needs, in all honesty. So, let me see here. Greninja. I think the Greninja is not strong enough to just take me out with a Dark Pulse, but it might be. I don't know. 
Who the heck knows at this point? This is a Z move, okay. Dark Pulse. Uh, Dark Pulse should, should do right around half-ish. Uh, this animation is gonna take like four years. I'm too stressed out for this animation. Normally, I would love this animation. I love Moltres. Moltres is great, but I'm too dang stressed out for this dang animation right now. So, I'm taking on two HP. We're gonna get to see whether or not. Um, I don't know how much of a roll that was, but I can just click photon geyser, and at least this thing goes down. At least, guaranteed, this thing goes down. Um, it prevents the. It prevents the Glide Score from being able to come in and defog. So I think no matter what, this thing is going to go down. Selby can't, he can't really let his Selby get, get damaged. And I could always have Signal Beam for all he knows. Um, his Pilot Swine's asleep and just getting some fat hits off, of, off on Pilot Swine would be huge. Uh, I would actually be super curious. I would actually be super curious. Uh, I might as well just check out the roll on that. If it was a Z-move Moltres. If it was a Z-move Moltres, that was Z-Hurricane. Uh, it was definitely modest. It was definitely modest. So if it's just max special attack modest... Then that was a 44% chance to Oko. So it was a roll in my favor. It was pretty much a 50-50. Um, I'd be... Him thinking that much makes me think that the Greninja... Um, doesn't have Shuriken. Or maybe he was considering whether or not to go into the Greninja. But at, the, but at that point, it doesn't even really matter because... It, um, he'd be putting his... His Moltres in danger no matter what. And he'd have to put himself in a position where the Gliscor can can um where the, where the glass score can defog later in the match anyway or else the Moltres is down anyway so uh uh and ultimately like this this the same scenario happens where uh Moltres goes down and, and he can bring in the okay he I, I don't think he's burned any sleep turns yet I don't think he's burned any sleep turns yet So, I can pretty freely just click Photon Geyser here, but that pretty much confirms no Water Shuriken on the Greninja, which is really interesting to me. But, I think doing this in exchange for damage onto this thing... Sleep Talk. Okay, okay, that's huge, that's huge. I'm gonna, in order for me to win, I'm gonna need RNG on my side, I guess. That was a that was a thirty three percent chance. But regardless, this pilot swine is going to go down on the following turn, no matter what happens. It's just going to be a matter of whether he takes my necrozma out first. Earthquake. Okay, I think that's okay. Does that put my knee Lego in a position to win? Man. Pile of swine. Against Nihi Lego. Oh, I can also judge based off Photon Geyser damage. Yeah, Photon Geyser should have done a lot more. So this is close to max special defense. I think... I think if I just bring in the Nihil Lego, then I get. I need to do 25%. Let's let's just assume max special defense. Careful. Am I doing 25%? Well, no. It's gonna wake up this turn, and it can click ice shard. Well, no. It doesn't matter because I take an ice shard at, at that point anyway. Nihil Lego. It looks like 25% a roll. It looks like 25% is a roll. It 
It looks like 25% is a roll. So does that mean I go into Azumarill? Wait, no! I do go into Azumarill because... Selby doesn't have a Grass-type move. Selby does, doesn't have a Grass-type move. So, against the Celebi... Against the Celebi... Azumarill can just click Play Rough. I guess. I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna see what happens, man. With draws. That's even more interesting. Gives this thing up. So now where's he going with this? He's not see Gunk Shot. He could try to toxic me with Celebi. But I'm banded. <sighs> he could be trying to toxic me right now. He could be trying to toxic me right now. I'm gonna do it. I don't think he's in a position to click sub. I don't think he's in a position to click sub. This is one of the most bananas game I've ever played. Honestly, this is absolutely wild. So many different thoughts are going through my head. I think ultimately, I can safely do this because Serena is... Serena is... Somewhat expendable here. Does that the energy ball. Okay, so maybe maybe I was misremembering. So I think it's just sub recover... So it, it didn't have toxic. Sub recover, energy ball, earth power. Um, I can click U-turn. What does he have left? He has a Celebi, the Pile of Swine, and... Yeah, I'm gonna click U-turn. And... I don't know. Maybe that wins, maybe that doesn't. No matter what, U-turn is always gonna be my play. Hopefully we get this in before it goes to timer. <laughs> But, oof. I don't know, man. I've been at this for close to 50 minutes right now. I was barely awake when this match started. This is this started at, like, a noon for me. And, and uh... I've been trying to do a lot. I've been trying to do the most right now. Just in life, but also in this matchup. It's the matchup that I really want to win. But, uh... Honestly, okay. So, here's the, th here's the thing, right? For me winning this matchup, uh, it took a lot, in particular, him not bringing a lot of his bigger threats, like if he had brought uh, the Mega Glade, this would be a whole different match, I mean, who knows, who's to say what, whether or not it would have been uh, more or less difficult, but um, he had a lot of threats that he left on the bench, like the Alamola, like the um, Alolan, like the Mega Glade is what I meant to say. Um, This thing going down would be super interesting. It does go down. So. I bring the Lego. There's no question. 
Yeah, bring in the Mihi Legon, there's no question about that. And... I click Sludge Wave. Even if he... I don't even know what he could pull. I mean... If the Greninja comes in, then I go down to the Greninja. And then... It beat the Selby. Unless this thing is also Scarfed, and if it is, then... Um... Azumarill kind of takes it on. Uh... I don't even know. I have no idea what, what, what could happen right now. I have no idea what could happen right now. <sighs> Dazzling Gleam ha does a little bit more damage. It, it actually threatens an Oko. Actually... Dazzling Gleam does Oko after rocks. So, if this thing is not Scarfed and I can hit the Dazzling Gleam, then that's a win. I'm gonna hit it. Let's see. We're gonna see. Okay. Does this thing have bulk? How much bulk? Oof! Okay. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. I really need this win. I really pretty aggressively need this win, but... At plus one. I think this should do it. At plus one. At plus one's a roll. It shouldn't be actually. If it's okay, so if it's calm, I, I don't even remember. I've been I've been talking so much and I've been like thinking out so many things in my head. It looks like dazzling things will roll. At, at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. You just click Earth Power on me. You can maybe re recover a sub, but in the end, I can U turn. I don't know. No, 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 there's no reason to try to risk anything. Selby can still beat me, but I just have to trust any Hilego. Does win, okay. Ugh. That was, that was so stressful. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. That does move us up to 5-4. and four. Uh, Puts us still in the hunt for the playoff race. That was a 3-0 win. That was a huge, huge win. Um, we are making our schedule really difficult for us, but next match we will play the number one seed. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks at the AP Academy, the PGP League War, and more weeks at the UBL, as well as some ICBA stuff. And um, other than that, thank you guys once again so much for watching. Once again, out.